Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a monthly time series of a precipitation data. So if you have hourly time series data, you can convert it to daily or if you have a daily time series data, you can convert that precipitation time series to monthly. So today I'm going to show you how to convert a monthly, right, daily time series data to monthly. So let me quickly show you that it is pretty simple because previously we converted from a minute to hour and from six hour to hourly data in my previous tutorial you can see that as well and here i'm going to show you how to convert the precipitation because the conversion for precipitation is different because if you have a daily series that means you have to accumulate the daily precipitation it is the total value of the precipitation right within 24 hours so for month it will be the summation of the total precipitation for the month or for any stream flow or for any other uh, time series so we calculate the average right if we have a time, hourly data and if you want to convert it to uh, daily so we just use the average or the mean value for the entire day but for precipitation since it is a accumulated depth of the total value of the uh, rainfall so we just uh, sum them up so let me just show you quickly how can i do that i'm going to share my screen and this time i'm again using my previous uh, sample code that i have so i'm using jupyter notebook so how to make monthly okay monthly time series it should be how to make monthly time series data from a daily okay a daily series of rainfall okay rainfall so that's it and then what i can do i can specify let me just quickly show there i have my data set here in my drive these are the uh, precipitation data uh, basically these are nl dos north american data assimilation system and here i have uh, basically uh, six files let me just show you that series so i prepared i extracted from net cdf file so i have another tutorial that yeah demonstrated right how to extract data from net CDF file so i calculated basically these are the uh, aerial mean value so it is a different uh, type of data set it is giving us a mean aerial value for a sub basin or casement so i have the data from 1st of january of 1991 to 31st of december 2017 that means for 25 years of data these are the daily data okay so I converted this from hourly to daily, then I'm converting it to monthly from this daily data. So uh, this is how we can do that. I have to specify the location, right, where it is. And since I already have the name up to download, so I can just uh, rename the directory and I can copy it and okay. There, I can paste only this part. So I have the precipitation data and I'm importing since I'm reading this file, right? Uh, this is a CSV file. So I need a P a P pandas for re uh, to read that one. And then if I want to plot, so I'm importing PLT as before. And I want to even uh, yeah, try to make an output here, but this time it will be monthly. Okay. Same name, but it is in monthly okay so it will check if the directory is there it is not there currently so it will create one so that is the condition we did previously okay so i run this cell and now what i have to do i have to assign okay matplotlib inline if i want to display right the images or the figures on the same panel here so it will do that so i'm just going through each of these files i'm listing this directory as before this is how I do and before that I'm just changing my directory to my input directory so once I'll be there inside that directory so I'm listing the directory using that os dot list it dear command and I'm checking if the files are CSV or not yeah if these are CSV then I'm just uh, started printing the file name and then I um, started splitting the file name and it will be divided right by the extension and the first part or we can't because why i'm doing that because i'm creating a data frame and a new name and you can keep the same file name because for this case we don't need to even create a separate file name yeah we can do that we can even make monthly here that's why i'm splitting keeping the first part same and monthly it will add the first part of the name and underscore monthly and the csv file and i'm just plotting the monthly right 
monthly passive monthly passive uh, for that station basically this, these are not a station these are the outlet of any castment so it is that way and i'm just reading cdf i'm reading as data frame so pd dot read underscore csv and i'm passing the file name so the first column is the date time so the index i'm parsing the date as before it is pretty simple but here is that trick so i need to use this data df and i'm resampling right if you want to even convert from one time step to another one so i use a resampling right we use a resample so for this case we have to use m capital m then it will convert to monthly but that will create mean but instead of creating mean we need sum right sum function then it will just sum based on the date it will find the month and it will add like whether it is 28 or 39 or 30 or 31 doesn't matter that's why we need to have our date time index once we have that we don't need that because we use this uh, command when we interpolate it from higher time step to lower one if i want to convert from monthly to daily then i need to interpolate that either by linear interpolation or by cubic so that's it and then i'm saving the file okay i'm saving the file as new name because i created the new name here the file name the first part of the file and then it will add the monthly and then it will save and now i'm gonna display okay i'm gonna create uh, figures so uh, precipitation so plotting the precipitation i'm just assigning okay the size of the plot and the grid it will be like that and as before what i'm doing here so i'm just plotting based on the index index means the date time it will be along the x-axis and along y-axis it will be the column should be zero because i have only two columns the first column is the date time so it's gone then i'll have another column since uh, python is zero based uh, indexing system so we assign zero means the first column other than the index column so that will be our precipitation so that uh, look like red okay for this case it is red the original file that is in daily okay and then we are even plotting on the same plot the other one that is the monthly series so that will be blue and then the first one will be daily okay daily a daily precip and the second one will be monthly so it will show, show us the legend monthly data and it will find the best location and it will show and the time zone it is the date time okay it is a uh, stone time so i'm keeping the same and that will be the precipitation okay in terms of a um, millimeter now let me check the unit uh, definitely it may be millimeter uh, I, I can't even remember maybe it is inch or millimeter maybe i converted it to millimeter inch yeah it is in inch so it doesn't matter i can just assign the unit here as inch okay so along the y-axis it will plot the precipitation inch so it will be total amount of precipitation for one month and in terms of inch okay so then i'm just assigning okay i have the tick mark this is only for the plotting purpose and it will display for three seconds but i don't need that three second i need one second and then it will plot once it's done it will display okay conversion has been done successfully once i have this message that means the conversion is done otherwise it will display some okay different okay here i can even assign another message that else command if and then else if there is no csv file so it will print okay i'm asking okay print uh, there is no csv file okay there is no csv file in the input directory input uh, directory so it will assign this message it will display if there is no csv file if there is csv file then if the files are in right ending with dot csv then it will start reading and it will do all this processing that i'm just assigning here so for precipitation keep in mind that you have to resample the data but in terms of summation so if i run this it will convert and it will create one directory by this name and it will loop through each of these files and it will do all this processing so let me just run this i already maybe run it yeah 
so let me just check i have the file but there is no data right now here the monthly right there is nothing so if i run now the next cell it will if everything is okay then it will start yeah see it's reading the first one it's plotting right and again it's uh, displaying the day, monthly data see it is showing the first month january and the last date so this is how it just uh, display and create the date and february 28th march 31st and then it's see it makes the summation and it is plotting here the red one is the previous one right that was the daily and if you just add them together so you will have monthly data that is why it is summation similarly i have data for is of this see it doesn't matter how many files we have it will convert and it's done it's done and i have the files inside see now i have the files by this name underscore monthly if i open one file and it is this i have the monthly okay so that is what you can process and you can plot anything you can do so that is pretty good right you need to know all this uh, processing to convert i didn't even change anything the code is pretty simple just you need to know the basic command if you know the basic commands so you can easily convert that okay so yeah try by yourself if it works or let me know i'll i can help but you already have this code here right you can follow all these steps it is not that a hard thing to do but the basic thing is to prepare that time series from netcdf file i have another uh, video i just uh, uploaded that one so i use that type of uh, coding to read netcdf file and i created the time series once you have the time series either in uh, daily step or in hourly step then you can convert even from uh, hourly to daily and from daily to monthly or even from hourly to yearly as well so i did that thing so these are the same so for stream flow what i have to do for stream flow if you want to convert from a daily to monthly then you have to take the average not the summation right you have to take the average but for precipitation you have to sum them up so that is the way we deal with precipitation because it is the total amount of water but the flow rate it is the flow rate so it is not the summation right it that's why you have to take the mean value over that time period right so thank you very much i'm just stopping here and uh, stay safe